Hi, my name's Casey with Mountain Cove Home and Family, and I'm going to make over this solid wood 1980s desk and transform it into a rustic American farmhouse desk with a little bit of primitive style to it. I started out by cleaning the desk really well, and then I used a power sander to sand the top, and then I also used shellac to spray inside the drawers. After I had cleaned the top, I um, then went over it with a custom stain and color wash mix, and it has a really nice feel, but we're not gonna stop here. So in this step right here, I am giving um, just a base coat, it's one coat of a custom mix green chalk paint. On chalk paint, you can do a scuff sanding, but it's not necessary. Um, and so on this piece, I'm not gonna do any sanding because it chalk paint adheres really well. And I've used about three different colors to as a custom mix to come up with this green using a Krylon and Dutch Boy chalk paint and also a little bit of gold Rust-Oleum metallic blended in. And so after this part is finished, then we're going to go ahead and give it a second coat. I thought I would go ahead and speed up this process for you because you don't want to watch me paint the whole thing. And right here with this, I am not worried about making everything pristine. I am just getting the paint on there, taking careful that I don't put it on too thick. Chalk paint dries really quickly, so this will be ready for a second coat in less than 30 minutes. Right here, we're going to use wet distressing. This is just a damp cheesecloth dipped in water. If you don't have a cheesecloth, you can really use just any type of cloth. And go ahead and dip it in water. And this is similar to the effect that sanding will give you, but it doesn't scratch a wood so much. This has had two coats of paint, and these drawers are dry, but the damp cloth, the fluid or the moisture just reactivates the paint and helps you to easily distress it. And so you can see that it's peeling off really easy. And it will take me about 15 minutes to do all of the drawers. After that, they'll all get a light sanding and then pretty soon we'll be ready to put our finishing wax on. So this step right here is just using a damp cloth to do some wet distressing to kind of give it um, an older, you know, aged appearance. And right here in this step, I'm going to do the exact same thing on um, just the, the insides, like the parts that the drawers cover up, the structure of it. Also, another thing that I did, um, which I did not film, was I did some light blending on both of the side walls of the desk. So both of the side walls were also painted green. And while the uh, green paint was still wet, I dipped my brush in some metallic gold and some water and just blended that in, giving it a lighter, just slightly lighter appearance in the middle, just making it look aged. Because I didn't want, um, all the rest, the front of the desk to look, have this rustic, somewhat primitive appearance, and then the sides to be just like completely pristine and like a new fresh coat of paint. So I wanted it to carry that um, kind of age used look all the way through the whole piece to give it some consistency. And as soon as this step is done, then the drawers will be ready to go in. I will give the whole piece a coat of wax. And I just, from the wax that I use, it's a top coat uh, chalk paint wax. I dip my cloth in it and I rub it over um, a small area at a time. And then I take another cloth, a clean cloth, and I wipe off the excess wax the excess wax and that will provide protection to it and I will probably give this piece two coats of wax um, letting it dry in between each coat so that um, it can be protected for a long time to come. Chalk paint unlike latex paint does need um, well you don't have to sand and uh, you don't have to do a ton of prep work you, it is necessary to seal it with some sort of um, just some sort of top coat. So you can use 
a chalk paint wax. You can use a poly, uh, a poly acrylic. You can I've used polyurethane before. You can use the wipe-ons or the spray. But for this type of piece of furniture, I really like to use a wax because it gives it just a nice um, matte style, a flat, a flat finish, which is really um, I think it's more authentic with the farmhouse style. Let's go ahead and speed this up. What do you think?